The Teutonic Order, the holiest of holy orders, tasked with Christianizing the northern parts of Europe. And today they are facing a huge force of Lithuanians that are ready to crush them and stick with their pagan ways. But the Teutonics will not allow it and they will do everything in their power with the will of God to turn the tide of battle in their favor. What's up guys and welcome back. I'm Pope John Paul and welcome with it to another 12-12 uh, battle. This is a 2v3 uh, battle between the Teutonic Order and the Lithuanians as already mentioned. Kind of like a Northern Crusade sort of scenario. Not really any historical meaning behind it. We just uh, people in the Discord decided let's do a, a matchup between these two. Uh, and the Teutonic Order are ever so slightly more veteran than the uh, more numerous Lithuanians. But it'll be it. So it'll be interesting to see who can win. Will it be uh, the brawn and holiness of the Teutonic Order? Or will it be the numbers of the pagan Lithuanians? And I mean, some of these units, I don't often look at like Lithuania, for instance. But I mean, their units are pretty damn good. I like the Lithuanian Knights. I think they look really nice. We're using high tier units mainly. So you've got a, like a mix of padded armor and like actual armor. We've got a, like Ducal Heavy Axemen over here. These guys look awesome. Very Viking-like, they look like. Uh, kind of like the Yom's Viking sort of look going on there. We've got like Retinue Archers here coming by. And uh, we've got some like Noble Swords or something. Ducal Infantry, these guys look awesome as well. Uh, but I mean, yeah, there's Ducal... Uh, not Ducal, there's Noble Swords uh, knocking around somewhere as well. I will look for them as... Uh, yeah, here they are, right in the front lines. And they have Javi ability, wow. Again, look at that like armor. It looks awesome, and the helmets like conical helmets look amazing. I would need to play as Lithuania more. I think. I mean, they look really, they look really fun to play as. I mean, uh, could definitely be an interesting faction to try out. But if you are new around here, I would like to see more 1212 action. Then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment on the channel. And if we hit 2,000 subs, I'll do a face reveal. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do a face reveal. You can see what the man. Well, the Pope behind the uh, the mic is uh, what he looks like. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, there you go, 2,000 subs. If you haven't already subscribed and you want to see whatever the hell this Pope looks like, then uh, subscribe. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, also, if you want to join the Discord, then I'll leave the link in the description so you can get involved in some of these 12-12 battles. But, anyway, now we're on with that jibber j Now we're past that jibber-jabber. Let's get on with the battle. And, uh, I mean, it looks like it's shaping up that the Teutonic Order, who I'm playing as here, are going to hold this top of this hill. Uh, and we're going to have a big flank here of cavalry. A lot of shock infantry ready. Pretty, uh, like, obvious what's going to happen. Cavalry's going to get sent in. Shock infantry straight after. Infantry, I don't know whether I'm going to hold the top of the hill or not. I mean, my ally is in the, sort of, the flatlands, the uh, grasslands. And he's... Uh, Got some halberds over here. These will be really interesting. He's got some really veteran like units here, but these halberds, uh, unlike the uh, Teutonic Order, really to like use infantry. They're very much a cavalry like knight based force, which is why like our cavalry is gonna be amazing. And our infantry is gonna just do garbage. Our archers, our Prussian archers, probably again gonna be pretty garbage. We're not known for like having good archers or good infantry just generally. Uh, it's really our. Uh, Cavalry that excels, or let the Teutonic Order of Cavalry excels. But here we go. This is the first bit of the battle that starts. This is uh, the Red New Archers get sent up by the Lithuanian player over on this side. This long line of them. And uh, we're going to see some volleys here. And they're going to fire at our infantry that's just over this hill. They can't. Well, yeah, look at this. This is what they're firing at. Over this hill. Absolutely nothing there. Uh, but they are firing at our infantry and our archers. No losses just yet. But then these, uh, they're about to, in a moment, change target and go for our cavalry. I mean, these guys look awesome. They've got, like, the sort of Cossack and, like, like the Russian and, like, sort of Western European vibe to them. they kind of got, it's kind of a nice mix that they've got going on. But yeah, you can see the uh, Ritter Bruder there of the Teutonic Order in the distance, ready and waiting. And more archers setting up over there. There's a lot of red new archers. And these guys, are I can imagine, are pretty good in, like, combat. Uh, I mean, they've got like shields on the back. They look fairly well armored. But I see this as a, a chance to take on their archers with cavalry. I'll certainly move my cavalry up. And I'm like, well, we'll just let them do it. And then here comes the infantry. And this is the catalyst 
of the battle. My Samlander infantry catches theirs and their cavalry gets mobilized and this is going to be a nasty charge from the, uh, yeah, from the Lithuanians. Knocking down a lot, but the Teutonic Order responds as they do so well with their cavalry and the, yeah, the Ritterbrood are in. And now come in the Shock Infantry and they will help out in cutting down these horsemen. And in the rear over there, you more Lithuanian Knights coming in. But in the rear, you can see over there, more Lithuanian Knights already flanking around. And the uh, Ritterbruder are actually losing in this bit of the combat here. I mean, we're winning in other areas, but we are losing on the flank. Uh, and that's not even before the, like, the uh, Ducal Heavy Axe Infantry's arrived. And I've got Samland Infantry coming over. And this, I think, is a personally, is a costly mistake here. This cavalry charging into the rear of the infantry here, but it could have charged the sword infantry and then gone straight for the general, who is having to come over. He's being forced over, and uh, yeah, here he comes, the grandmaster's bodyguard coming over, and he's going to try and run down this uh, Lithuanian knight. And then while that's been happening on the far side, you can see not no engagement here just yet. The infantry starting to get engaged between the uh, Lithuanians on this flank and myself. That's the Teutonic Order. And these guys are going in. They're not going to mess about. Oh my gosh, there's just so many units. This is like uh, basically a 12,000 like 12, man battle. And it's looking pretty damn awesome. And these look a bit more elite. Dismounted uh, Bajordrija. I don't know how you say that. But that looks like an elite unit. And they're now going into combat against uh, some Samlanders. I don't know who's going to win that. I mean, Samlanders are a lot more veterans, but uh, like the swords for uh, for Lithuania are so much more elite. And I'm going to slow it down for a bit because a lot's going on. Uh, so my cavalry breaks through here. We break this bit here. This was just one cavalry infantry unit against mine and shock. And we're now I'm pulling back my cavalry. I'm going to send my Hal uh, Hal Bruder into fight. So this cavalry is now freed up on this side. My ally is now finally engaged. We're going to see the cavalry just about to uh, get engaged. This was a poor mistake by him, sending his halber, uh, his halbruder in straight away. Because they're going to get absolutely demolished here by cavalry. Oh my gosh. That is just satisfying to watch in slow-mo. But I mean, also, if you're like room for the Teutonic Order, that is not good. Like, a lot of them are going to be dead now. They have lost over 30 men and they're just still starting to get up now. The Teutonic Order is now engaged in the, like, the Lithuanian Knights on this side. They've got the Halbruder here, like it's going to attack in the rear, so that's really good. They, uh, now, like, their Halberds are already breaking here, though. They're getting focused down. I think they, like, won that first engagement, but they are starting to lose in the next. And now there's a massive gap here in the center of our forces, which the Lithuanians need to take advantage of, really. Uh, and that's kind of it, really, that's, like, developed just really so far. But while we're looking, like, keep an eye on what's going on on this side. Already units breaking here, these are Levy Spears, so they're not that great. There's like more Ducal Heavy Axes coming in. Already you can see that unit that got charged is Halbruder. A really elite unit and it's just already wavering. They need to send through this Halbruder here. This mounted Halbruder and get that in combat. But here, yeah, here comes the Ducal Shock. Uh, the Ducal like Axeman. The Shock Infantry unit. And they're going to cut down these melee infantry. Uh, melee cav, sorry. And uh, I don't know who will win that. I don't know who in that, but the general is like constantly like selling there. He's actually routing. I mean, he's wavering here. I think because he, he pulled through this combat, like this unit is still trying to fight its way through. And uh, now the general for the Lithuanian player on this side is breaking through and going for my archers. On this side, it's a real hit and miss what could go on. I am trying to run down archers here with my Teutonic Order. I'm going to slow it down again as uh, more stuff develops. So... The cavalry over here kind of broke away both sides and they're now fighting individually, fighting each other while the infantry clash continues here. Which one Halbruder axe, heavy axeman is beating two Ducal axemen currently somehow. I'm not quite sure how, but it's happening. Ah, it's probably helping because uh, these Ritterbruder came back and they are going to just cut down these guys in the back. So that is really, really good. I mean, they I think they arrived from this battle here. But yes, my... Uh, Archers in the back getting run down is not great. And these uh, swords were charged down by the general themselves. On this flank, it looks pretty dicey for my ally. Um, he's losing quite a few shock infantry units. His cavalry here are losing. And, uh, I mean, he's lost the center as well. He is quite overstretched in comparison to me. I'm on a very short front. and trying to just go for, like, 
the shock and awe trying to break through while my ally just holds the line. Um, but I mean, yeah, really the Lithuanians, they could win the battle if they just push forward these three units, push forward and they would win the day. The one can go that way, one can chase the archers if it felt the need. And I mean, these ones here as well, they could flank around and take on these swords. I mean, the general here is now having to go over and deal with the Lithuanian general. So it would be a good chance for Lithuania to, I mean, seize the initiative and like take the battle to the Teutonic Order. I mean, look at this, like, fight. I mean, these Samlanders just seem to be getting overwhelmed. But, I mean, uh, in a lot of areas, I can see black and white starting to take the day. And here come the Teutonic Order. Oh, God, this is going to be painful. Oh, no. That was painful. That was painful. And I don't think many of those uh, Lithuanians are getting up. Uh, it's a rest in peace for them. And yeah, yeah, that unit is losing decisively now. Even though the also the Sunlanders are losing decisively, but yeah, this unit is going to waver and probably break. And look at this—a huge route on that side. And the enemy general is dead. Okay, the one fighting my ally on this side has died. I think he was fighting these halberd, and he just died in combat. I'm not really sure what happened there. But uh, yeah, he's. Well, look at that—a chain route on this flank. That has really turned the battle in favor of the Teutonic Order on this flank now. And the Teutonic Order can almost just run at will down this flank and uh, on this flank it looks like the Teutonic Order again is also starting to take the battle ever so slightly with the uh, general back here also like fighting the two generals fighting each, each other here and the Teutonic Order winning gonna win the day I think out of veterancy just because of the 1v1 I expected someone to do like a wedge and they could then win it but there's the King of Lithuania getting his trying to get some kills with his mace. Can he do it? I don't know. But yeah, I mean, look at these encircle Lithuanians. They're poor, poor guys. But I mean, I would say we'll look at them, but I mean, there might be another charge coming. Oh, no, no, they've stopped. They've stopped. These Lithuanians here, though. Yeah, these retinue bowmen. Just like, hold the line so we can keep shooting. But uh, I think they're breaking. Yeah, they're breaking. That's a real shame. And then Ningo some more Teutonic Order there. They're just going to try and route these guys, these dismounted Bajoriga a bit quicker. But, I mean, you can see my swordsmen are starting to lose. They will lose eventually. These Ducal Infantry are just far too much for them. But uh, it does look like now that the Teutonic Order on this flank is starting to just stream in as well. I mean, so am I. I'm also, look at this. We are just, like, we battered through. This was an entire Lithuanian army that I was facing up against here. And uh, it's just gone now. I mean, there's about one army in the center. There's another one on the left. So basically, we, both Teutonic armies have taken out the best part of two armies themselves before now moving on to the center one. Which, in fairness, I think has personally been a little bit too defensive. You can see here. I mean, these Lithuanians are just getting cut down. And Lithuania was used to, like, fighting more, like, guerrilla warfare and with mass troops. Well, the Teutonic Order is more like, it wants a pitch battle, and it's going to try and beat you with a really small and elite army. I mean, look at these, like, these uh, Ruthenian archers here. They're literally, like, just peasants. Really, they had, I mean, they've got nice longbows. And they're trying to get as many volleys off into this blob. This is a seriously big blob here. These Samlanders might want to spread out. But it might not matter, because they've got some Halbruder here coming in. And oh god, that's a good vol Oh, that's a good charge. Good charge in there. I mean, even if they are a melee cav unit, they've done a good charge that there. And that's uh, going to route these guys, you imagine. Oh, and then another one there. I did not see that one coming. The Teutonic uh, General returning after defeating the other general in the back lines. And he's here to just charge down these archers. Poor, poor archers. But I mean, my cavalry has been breaking like broken quite a few times so I mean they've done a good job have the Teutonic army uh, not the Teutonic army the uh, Lithuanian army here certainly did a really good job and I think if the central army here for Lithuania had uh, charged out they might have done a lot more damage I mean there's another charge from the Teutonic order look how bloody these guys are just like smashing down with their maces look awesome this mod is just glorious. 
And there goes another Teutonic Knight. He'll be hard to replace. Can't afford to lose Knight. Like that, another one gone. And then the Halberd are just joining. And I mean, that's probably most of the infantry is probably going to break now. Look at this. This archer back here is just holding the line. These spears now going to try and turn around. I mean, that was a poor charge from the general's bodyguard in fairness. These ducal spearmen might want to take advantage. I mean, if they can, they're getting cut down at the moment. They are getting cut down. Oh, and there you go. A close victory at the end. Uh, it was pretty close in the end. I mean, it definitely could have been even closer, like I've already mentioned, if the Lithuanian, uh, the army pushed out um, in the center. But uh, yeah, so me and Dodgy Gob were playing as the Teutonic Order. So uh, well done to uh, Dodgy. He did a very, very good defense uh, attack. Sorry, on the uh, on the right, and uh, held the center well. I mean, he he was barely there, but he he held it for what he did. And uh, well done to Heads, Anzac, and Aiden as well. Um, and thank you for participating. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look at the uh, results. So I mean, we'll look at Dodgy Gob first. Uh, his Grandmaster's bodyguard. Uh, getting 260 kills, his uh, shock infantry, which he only brought two of, getting 183 compared to 63, this is the one that probably got charged down. So you can see the difference. Um, his, uh, p well, his pole arms getting uh, 62 kills and 61, so pretty average there. Um, I mean, yeah, they just got focused down. I'd just rather bring stuff with shields in a pitch battle. Um, his Samlander infantry did really well, getting 169 kills and 170. I mean, so well upgraded. Um, like that's insane like you got some insane upgrades here um to like try and f face down like two armies on his own uh 196 kills with his ritter bruder and 212 uh, 13 with the other one uh, 327 with halbruder and they are melee and they're like supposed to be worse than shock in this game in my opinion anyway but i mean they did really well so well done to him then uh yeah my army getting 162 kills with my general 237 uh, 34 with my uh heavy axeman my Samlanders did not do as well as Dodgies, but getting 122 kills is just not bad. Um, my Archers, yeah, just did nothing. Like, I same as Dodgies. I mean, Dodgies got 97 kills, but yeah, mine in comparison did nothing. And 335 with my Ritter Bruder, and 257 with another. But mo all getting over 100, nearly all over 150. Then Heads, who was the uh, Lithuanian army that I was facing, um, getting 136 kills with the Grand Duke's bodyguard. And then... Uh, and which is like his general and then none of his infantry like did outstandingly well like his heavy duke axe like his heavy axeman getting 63 kills his uh ducal infantry getting 68 or 85 is actually okay his uh dismounted but bajorigo which i thought are like his best troops only getting 65 kills and his cavalry only getting 44 getting absolutely destroyed in comparison to my ritter bruder um so I mean, unfortunate, but I mean, he did well in holding up for so long. I really thought, like, several points I was going to lose that fight. Or we were just going to lose. Um, but Anzac Warspite, who was playing as the center army, uh, getting 227 kills with his uh, Duke's bodyguard. Uh, his uh, Heavy Axeman also only getting 61 kills. His Ducal Spearman, which he seemed to bring a lot of, which I'm kind of surprised he didn't bring more, like, Ducal Swords. Him getting 67 kills. His uh, Lithuanian Axeman getting 66. His Noble Swords getting 51 kills, and his Archers, none of them are doing that impressive, and his Cavalry, again, not that impressive, sadly. Only getting 36 kills, but uh, like I said, if he pushed out in the center, he may have then uh, be able to envelop Dodgy, and then also, uh, well, basically throwing either of the flanks with a, a flank of his own. Uh, and then Aiden, who was playing as the left Lithuanian army, he's... Uh, I mean, his army just broke as soon as his general died. He only got 50 kills. It was really unfortunate that his general, like, died in a charge. And his cavalry did probably actually the best. Like, this individual cavalry unit here did better than any of the other ones, getting 52 kills. His uh, ducal infantry getting 56. And his uh, rest of new archers getting 63 kills, which is not too bad. But yeah, nothing, again, too outstanding. Uh, but yeah, I mean, well done to the Lithuanian players and to Dodgy. Uh, for that epic 12-12 battle. We'll definitely have to do some more like Northern Crusade sort of scenarios. I do enjoy playing as the Teutonic Order. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed them, please remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. Remember to hit that 2k for a face reveal. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.